Hi everyone, I am Justin and welcome to another Weight Watchers Clinic strength training routine. Now don't forget to track these workouts in your app under WW Clinic Gym Exercises. Now let's get into the workout. And welcome to your gym based training routine. So for these routines, what I'm going to do is I will just show you the exercise and you can decide if you're going to do one, two, or three sets. Now, when you're done with your first set, you're going to be able to pause this video, then make the decision if you want to come back to your next uh, exercise. If you want to do a second round, just do that. If you want to do a third round, do that, and then come back to the video for the next exercise when you're ready to move on. So the first exercise that we're going to do in this gym based routine is going to be a dumbbell row. Okay. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to put one knee down on a bench, one hand down on a bench. So if I'm doing my left arm, our right knee and our right hand is going to be down on the bench. So what we're going to do is we're going to row up just like this. And you should be feeling that in your back, specifically your lat muscles. Try not to pinch your shoulder blades together too much for this. Again, we're going to right here, not going all the way up to there. So just to this position. So that is the dumbbell row. We're going to do 10 on our left, 10 on our right. Go ahead and pause this video and then come back when you're ready for the next round of things. The next exercise is going to be a slight incline overhead press or the next exercise is going to be a slight incline chest press. So what we're going to do for this is only incline that bench up for one. Okay. So these benches can go up quite a bit all the way up until your vertical. In this case, we're just going to incline it up to one. We are going to grab our weights and what we're going to do is we're going to sit back and bring the weights to this position and we're just pressing straight up. So this is working our chest, our shoulders and our triceps. Okay. So you'll go ahead and do 10 reps there and then go ahead and come back to this video when you're ready for the next round of exercises. All right. The next exercise that we are going to do, and you may want to start out with a similar weight to what you just did for the, for the incline press. Uh, it might be a little bit lighter, might be a little bit more. It all really just depends on, on your training status. But what we're going to do is we're going to hold the weight right up here like this. We're going to do a wide stance squat. So we're going to put our feet nice and wide. We're going to point our toes out a little bit more and we're going to push our knees out as we go down. So this is going to work our quadriceps and our glutes. And so what it looks like from this side is we're trying not to flex. If you have any knee pain, I'd recommend sitting back more like this and leaning forward a little bit more. So that is the wide stance squat. You can go ahead, pause this video, come back when you're ready for the next few exercises. For the next few exercises, we're going to utilize cables. Now for this, it is okay if you want to swap some of these things out for a machine that is totally fine. Uh, if that's more accessible, this is going to be the chest press. Okay. So what you're going to do for this exercise is we're going to grab the cables. They should be at about uh, a little bit above hip length. So you're not down like this. So we're up just like this. We're going to take some tension out of there and we're just pressing straight out again. If you want to use a machine for this, that is a perfectly fine option. So, that is the cable chest press. We are going to do 10 reps there and then go ahead, pause the video, come back when you're ready for the next round of exercises. Right. So the next exercise, we can actually keep the cable in the same exact position. And what we're going to do here is called a pal cable pal off press this is going to work our core musculature. So what we're going to do is we're going to step out, try not to step out too far and we're going to press out and we're going to do 10 reps. That was a nice loud clunk right there. Okay. So press, hold for a sec, come back in. We're using our core muscles to not let that weight pull us back in that way. So it's going to be 10 and then you'll go ahead and, and switch over and do 10 right over on that side. So that is your cable pal off press. Come back to this video when you're ready for the next round of exercises. Okay. So for the next exercise, we're going to need a rope just like this, this is going to be the rope tricep extension. It's working our triceps. And what we're going to do here is latch that rope right on. And we're going to have our elbows pinned right to our side. And we're just going to go straight down just like this. So that's going to work our triceps. Try not to let your elbows come up like this. Just keep them pinned 
right there. So we're gonna do 10 of those. That is the cable rope tricep extension. Go ahead, pause the video, come back when you're ready for the next round of things. For the next exercise, you can still use that rope that you had before and it's going to be a curl, but now this cable is all the way down. So this one's a handle, so I lower the handle, but sometimes there's a cable column um, that you'll end up adjusting. So we're going to grab the weight right here, just like this, we'll have our palms facing each other, and we're just going to come up, and we're going to do our curl like that, and that is working our biceps, okay? And so that is the last exercise for the day. You can pause this video, and once you've done one, two, or three sets, however many you decided to do, you are all set.